No decision after more than an hour of back and forth in court about the future of a controversial monkey breeding facility in Hendry County. Things are still up in the air. So it's now up to a judge to decide whether the county broke Florida's sunshine law by approving this project with no public input. Last year, the Animal Legal Defense Fund filed a lawsuit claiming the county leaders broke Florida's sunshine law by failing to involve the community in its decision. But as Fournier Corners Tara Molina explains, the battle is far from over. She joins us live outside the Hendry County Courthouse tonight with the details. Tara. I'm reporting to you from the monkey breeding capital of the world. But until recently, many of the people who live here didn't realize that. They say Hendry County made sure they didn't. And it's part of why they're suing the county, saying they violated state sunshine laws. Monkeys like these, thousands of them, are bred in Hendry County, trained to be used for biomedical research. It's been going on for about 10 years. Billy Stevens has lived here all his life and had no idea. Do you know that you lived in the monkey farming capital of the world? Never knew. Never knew there was the first one, much less three. And with a fourth farm in the works less than a mile from his home, he added his name to the plaintiff suing Hendry County. Claiming the county violated state sunshine laws by not having a public hearing before approving the fourth primate breeding farm. The public needs to know about this. These are macaques. They're dangerous. They carry these diseases. Uh, what if it was your house? What if it was your backyard? Would you want them there? Uh, I don't. So how does the county respond to this? The county attorney refused to address my questions, instead telling me this. Uh, Henry County did not violate the Sunshine Law. We made that very clear in our arguments made here today. And we'll wait the judge's ruling and we'll take action after that ruling based upon what the ruling is. Billy Stevens is also prepared to keep fighting. Hopefully the, the judge will rule in the, the right way. And if he doesn't and that farm goes up just about a quarter of a mile from your house, what are you going to do? We got a few things up our sleeve. Both sides have five days to submit new material to the judge. The judge will then review that information and the rest of the information in this case and come to a final decision. You can count on Fox 4 to bring you all the latest details, including that final decision, as soon as we've got it. Live in Hendry County, Tara Molina, Fox 4, in your corner.